Um, next one's from Brandon McCarthy. Subject is Hall of Fame. Hello, day one listener here. Bam, quick, quick questions for Conan. How many followers did you get after the Hall of Fame? And were you in Iran when you gave the speech? We talked about that. And K100 Talks this week is devoted strictly to Conan's experience with WWE in the speech. Also, I'd like to say I was a pro Billy fan, but after last week, can go eat it. Shout out to my homie, Big Country, in the Discord. Um, we're going to suspend you, Brandy. Oh, no. Because giving a shout out to Big Country in the Discord, mm. I suspended Big Country. <laughs> uh, and you're giving a shout out to somebody that I suspended for a week um, searching his comments in the Discord. So, you think that was intentional on Bam's part? I don't know, but Brady McCarthy is, is suspended. Is yeah. that Bam? Is she That's Bam? Bam? Yeah, yeah. Okay. She's been she's yeah, known you're, us for a long time. You're suspended for putting over a guy that I, I suspended. Okay. Um, um, go ahead. What did Billy do now? Well, I don't know. This, he's, this, he's every, man, this man was there last fight, week. Fight, fighting, fighting with, with the, the fighting the, the with dirty satin. Team. Yeah, satin. Uh, um, uh, what else? I mean, everything Bro, we told to him not this. to do, he does. So. I was in an elevator. I guess he must have been staying in the same place. And he walks in with his son. Uh -huh. And he's looking at his phone. I don't. He doesn't see me, I guess. And his son is right next to me with a cap that actually says Austin on it. Uh -huh. uh, I recognize him. Hmm. And so, yeah, we get up to my floor. And I was like, uh, take it easy, Austin. Take it easy, Billy. He didn't say anything. And that's too. Oh. And then... um. He sent me a message. He goes, oh, I was in the elevator. And my boy, Ollie, whoever that is, um, said you were on there with us. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. You know, let's, you know, I want to talk to you, blah, blah, blah. But anyways, um, I didn't know that he had gotten into a fight with uh, Ryan Satin now. Yeah. I mean. <sighs> it, just, there's a lot going on on his Twitter. I know. I, like, like, I, don't, I don't know. If is it's still under K1 and 140. No, no. He's, he's the dirty okay. cheese again. At Billy. Right. Yeah. Billy Cause like after, bro, I, you know. Well, I tell him I don't want you fighting with those people because I don't want the fight. He fights those people, and these people are DMing me. You're dragging me into your fights. It's like that's a, that, that's a, a deal deal breaker, you know. It's like if you're dragging me into fights, I'm telling you not to not, not to not to engage it. So it's like right. whatever. Um, and it's funny too because like, bro, I, if if he was just a content provider right. with sports, he he'd be he'd be really good at this. Right, but he just does not understand that his behavior outside on on Twitter and social media with these fans and these other podcast people are just you're, you're turning too many people off and you're getting people to you know to attack us because mm -hmm. of you, which is ridiculous. I'm not I'm not standing for that. So uh, next is some Raider three sixteen. The subject is big announcement. Hey guys, Tony kind of announced Saturday that he has a very important announcement this Wednesday. In the past, three announcements have been laughable at best. Compared to other companies, you would never see Vince, Triple H, Bischoff, Pena, or Conan by proxy, or hell, even Dixie Carter make an announcement like this only to deliver information that people could care less about. Depending upon when the show is recorded, due to Conan being busy with the Hall of Fame's legendary induction speech, my question is, what damage does an owner do to his company when announcements are decreed and they do not deliver in the seriousness or weight? Or, what do you think of Tony's big announcement? Was it very important? And that's Derek from Virginia. Well, let me uh, – how, how many times has Tony done that? Because I remember one of his big announcements was, hey, I bought Ring of Honor. Well, that's a big announcement, right? Not really. No, you don't think so? <laughs> so I mean, I don't know. seriously, you, but you bought a company that nobody watches. But it, it, the guy's right because I remember WCW hyped a huge announcement for weeks and weeks in 2000, and whatever it was must have fallen through. So you buy the pay-per-view to see this big reveal that's going to change wrestling, and it was just Goldberg turning heel. That turned a lot of people off that they didn't get the big announcement to. So it, it does happen, yeah. Yeah. 